Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 most beautiful cities in Maine. Maine is the land of rugged shores bounded by exciting cities where one can get all the dramatic vistas of nature from a luxuriously set dinner table over water. These 10 cities will astound with natural scenery, historic architecture, and nautical romance. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 most beautiful cities in Maine. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 most beautiful cities in Maine. Number 10. Blue Hill. The unspoiled and picturesque Blue Hill lies at the head of a bay of the same name and looks out towards the islands of Mount Desert Narrows. The town, first settled in 1762, was once a center for shipbuilding and granite quarrying. There are still plenty of small boatyards and boathouses on the bay and tucked inside the smaller coves flanking the town. Number 9. Camden. A self-proclaimed jewel of Maine, Camden beckons ocean lovers, foodies, shopaholics, and adventure lovers. Located in Knox County in Maine's midcoast, Camden caters to every traveler's palate. A Camden Harbor cruise allows visitors to witness beautiful boats and lighthouses, meanwhile, the schooner tour gets them alongside the incredible sunset, coastline, and wildlife. Downtown Camden is a delightful place brimming with cafes, antique shops, seafood eateries, and souvenir binge. Number 8. Stonington. Stonington lies south of Deer Isle on the ragged coastline facing out onto Penobscot Bay. The picturesque harbor town looks out over a mass of smaller islands and towards Alo Oat and its lighthouse. In the 19th century, the locals were known in Maine for being excellent seafarers, and the harbor is still packed with fishing boats today. On land, the town itself has some lovely art galleries, the Stonington Opera House and the local historical society to explore. Number 7. York. The small, quintessential city is set at the southern tip of the state by the Gulf of Maine. It is full of character, sights, and activities for any taste on a scenic getaway to the shores veiled in a small-town atmosphere, with amenities at hand. There's Cape Nettick with the famously historic Nubble Lighthouse, the state's most photographed, for admiring strolls and insta-shots. The four pristine sandy beaches are great for our NR Sands crowds, including the telling name Long Sands Beach with a grand stretch of sand and surf and short sands beach near the entertainment scene. The city is full of attractions for all groups and ages, including excellent museums, shopping, Maine's largest zoo, and an amusement park. It is a real resort destination, with saltwater taffy stands along the streets to watch the treat made to order, three 18-hole golf courses, and a naturescape for serene explorations. Number 6. South Portland. South Portland, south across the harbor from the state's largest, Portland, was established as a settlement in the early 1600s for fishing, shipping, and shipbuilding. The scenic Portland Breakwater Light and the Portland Harbor Museum reveal more about the city's marine history. One can absorb local culture at the South Portland Farmers Market and the annual art in the park special events that comprise regular get-togethers for atmospherically fun times of mingling and people watching. There is the wonderful Bug Light Park with a small lighthouse. Its 30,000 workers turned out 244 Liberty ships by the end of war that hauled cargo to European destinations. The mile-long Spring Point Shoreway in South Portland is made for strolls with water views and notable stops on the way. It passes through the Southern Maine Community College campus, the historic Fort Preble, and another lighthouse. One can reach the Spring Point Ledge Light via a hike over a granite breakwater connecting to the mainland. For a day's worth outing, the shoreway eventually leads to the popular, small Willard Beach, with more scenic R&R in the fresh air. The city is a shopper's paradise to the core, with the state's largest main mall near the main turnpike, with dozens more stores, restaurants, and accommodations in the immediate orbit. Number 5. Lewiston. Lewiston is known as the more vibrant twin from its subdued brother Auburn over the river, not far from Augusta. It is also directly north of Portland, acting as the getaway to the state's two major cities. The city has something for everyone, including Bates College, which hosts the summertime annual Bates Dance Festival of internationally acclaimed performances, as well as the Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul, set downtown. The state's only basilica is an architectural wonder, built in the style of Chartres cathedrals in France, with a rose window. The Gendron Franco Center gives a deep insight into Maine's Franco-American heritage and culture through performing arts. 
The outdoor fans thoroughly enjoy fresh air strolls, jogging trails through fields and forests at the Thorncrag Nature Sanctuary, and birdwatching. There's also Lewiston's Samar Payne Memorial Park for scenic walks and optimal for watching the Liberty Festival on July 4 and the Great Falls Balloon Festival in August. The local faves include the forage market for fantastic breakfast bagels, fish bones or the Italian, Da Vinci's Eatery for dinner, Grant's Bakery for traditional tortillere meat pies, and the popular Mobaxter Brewing for drinks. Number 4. Bangor. The third biggest city in Maine, founded in the late 18th century, presides over the Penobscot River, with the nearby beautiful Bangor City Forest. The city of many nicknames is a longtime hit spot for horror fans, as home to the legendary Stephen King's house and city walking tours. One can see the place along Central Street where the FBI agents had one of Maine's bloodiest street fights with Al Brady and his gang in 1937 or take a walking tour to spooky spots of unexplained paranormal activity. Bangor is also known as the Vegas of the Northeast for the huge casino complex and many cultural landmarks, including museums, the oldest state fair in Maine, notable buildings, and art installations. The massive 31-foot-tall statue of Paul Bunyan presiding over downtown reminds of Bangor's past as the lumber capital of the world. The family-friendly 22,000-square-feet broad Maine Discovery Museum has interactive displays and activities for kids of all tastes. Nature fans love to R&R along the river's banks and explore the scenic 680 acres of forest and wildlife habitat via strolls or hikes. Number 3. Augusta. Maine's capital is a culturally rich and endlessly scenic city that is a popular summer visit for state dwellers. The place where pilgrims first settled along the Kennebec River in the 17th century began as a small city with beach access. Its rich history is now reminiscent throughout the historic downtown with Victorian mansions, cozy BNBS, and the University of Maine. The cultured will enjoy the insights at the Maine State House, the Maine State Museum, and the 1754 Old Fort Western British still standing from the French and Indian War. The humble city, with hospitable locals numbering only 19,000, boasts many outdoor activities to enjoy in peace and tranquility from the crowds. There is the Serene Viles Arboretum, the gorgeous Capitol Park for atmospheric picnics on the grass, and hiking along the Bond Brook trails. The food scene is a shellfish and chowder galore, while those looking for a respite can make a quick day trip to the surrounding small towns. There is the nearby Hollowell and Gardener with boutiques, antique stores, and specialty shops, as well as the Richmond Corner Sauna to sweat off stress via an authentic wood-heated experience. Number 2. Auburn. The beautiful city of Auburn is located near the main lakes and mountains region, with great falls on the river and a scenic Auburn Riverwalk path. Set southwest in the state, this city is often associated with Lewiston across the Androscoggin River, with monikers Twin Cities and L-A. One can travel between the two cities via the two-mile-long path from a small park in Auburn beside the falls to a pedestrian bridge across the river to Lewiston's Samar Payne Memorial Park. The cities are hubs for the state's rich Franco-American heritage, with the Museum L-A showcasing the history and culture of Maine's laborers. They are also central to the state's many arts and culture venues, such as Midcoast Symphony Orchestra in Auburn. The Festival Plaza beside the Androscoggin hosts performances by Auburn Community Band, among other free summer concert series, while wintertime brings the Winter Festival to the Lost Valley Ski Area. One can experience the city's rich nature year-round in great weather through birdwatching, fishing for bass or lake trout in Lake Auburn, and scouting for minerals at Mount Auburn's Appetite Park. There are cozy urban spots to stay in, along with the fancy Hilton Garden and Auburn Riverwatch in the heart of the historic city, with activities and dining steps away. The Twin Cities' booming restaurant scene includes classic Franco-American comfort food. For drinks, there are the gritty McDuff's inside by each brewing company in Auburn. Number 1. Portland. Maine's largest, Portland, is an incredibly scenic city that is the epitome of everything cool, creative, artsy, and innovative. The city is a vibrant metropolis with typical Maine topography, nonchalantly named after its thriving harbor. The port hub, at heart, was the largest 17th-century port in New England, now the destination for the best whale-watching and other soothing-to-the-soul tourist activities and sites. It is a place where one runs out of time and not things to do, with must-visits including the fabulous Portland Museum of Art. There's endless shopping at the Old Port in South Portland and explorations around the beautiful Casco Bay. 
The coma-inducing foodie galore features an amazing selection of fresh ocean treasures, including drool-worthy lobster rolls, alongside farm-to-table eateries, creative fusion restaurants, and incredible bakeries. Portland is also renowned as a craft beer destination, with breweries strewn throughout the city. Portland would also not be wholly Maine without the best secluded beaches on island shorelines and coastal bluffs topped by centuries-old lighthouses. So, which are your favorite cities among the top 10 most beautiful cities in Maine? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite cities among the top 10 most beautiful cities in Maine in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.